Yeah, this video will be about this thing that was behind me for a couple of episodes. It was back there a long time and I couldn't really resist, so you can see there are a couple of missing. We all have our crisis when we need some chocolate in our life. Like a month ago I posted a picture on Instagram with this Ferrero Rocher box while I was actually in the store, just as a joke because you know this arboreal enclosure is made out of Ferrero Rocher box, but this box is actually standing like this. And I have a video on how to make it. So that picture was just a joke, but a lot of you commented that I need to make an enclosure out of this. So here it is. And actually my girlfriend bought this for me because she knew that I need to please all of you. <laughs> And I wasn't really certain how, what can we exactly do with this. It has a couple of parts. Oops. It has a couple of parts. Go, go out. But it's really neat and unique looking, so why the hell not? I didn't know who to put inside or what animal could even utilize an enclosure like this. And then... I had a mold outbreak in one of my enclosures. You see complete ground is covered with this mold or actually I think this is a fungi. And generally when you get some mold in your enclosure you don't really need to panic. It can appear and then with some time it disappears. The typical mold that we get in our enclosures are harmful to tarantulas. So we don't really need to overreact. But in this case when entire floor, I mean entire surface is covered with it. That is a good indication that we should interfere. <laughs> Did I mention it is Iberapora diversipes? And I got it from fruit pudding. Thanks fruit pudding. Now, unfortunately, I will need to break her web. You see on top and all the way back here, she made a really nice tunnel. And that is the reason why I think this tarantula will utilize this enclosure really nice. And look down there, it is a part of a roach that I didn't remove. <laughs> so as I was saying, she will do really nice in this enclosure because she used to be in Avicularia genus and all of Avicularias try to make a web tunnel on top of the enclosure. So often they will cover a lid with their webbing because that is what they actually want to do. And in this, it won't be a problem. If she makes a tunnel wherever she likes, because we will have a bit of substrate here and that will be completely fine. There. It is not really holding, but it's not a problem because the tarantula won't be able to lift it anyway. One more and we can start building. Mm, before I forget, for you that didn't notice, Just a second. It is never a smart thing to eat something while you're talking. I changed my upload schedule, not really changed, I added an extra day. So from now on, every Wednesday, you can expect a new video, but it will be a bit different format. Mondays and Fridays will stay the same. You notice that I try to make a bit longer videos, 10 to 15 minutes, almost like an episode where you can sit down, take a breakfast, dinner, lunch. That is at least how I watch other YouTubers. So Monday and Friday, longer videos. And on Wednesday, I will upload a shorter video. I already uploaded one on last Wednesday. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I will, I will even link it for you. <laughs> it will be shorter videos, like two or three minutes, depending on the situation. The video will feature some specific animal or maybe group of animals or specific enclosure with nice detailed shots, multiple feeding with the same species, just some close-up shots of animal roaming around its enclosure. And also I can upload shorter sketches like I did that video, things they say in pet shops about tarantulas. That was a kind of funny sketch. Or maybe I will cover some topic that is too short for a full episode and could fit nicely in two or three minutes. I have a couple of videos like that in works, so you will see it every Wednesday. So now you get three videos per week. We will see how that will go. I think it will be all right. Now let's turn this into an enclosure. I will also get her outside in this tub, like I did in the last video, the tub with alcohol powder. Hopefully some nice shots will also emerge from that. First, I definitely need to remove this sticker and I hope it won't leave any marks. 
Okay, it is more or less all right. Now I will also make some holes. And I will cut this cork bark on half and glue it to the side of the enclosure. So the tarantula will also have a cork bark where it can hide until it makes a proper web tunnel. I have my trusty Dremel tool. So let's make some holes. Mm. I think I will just put it on a few columns. I really don't know. That will do it, I think. Now to clean it up a bit. I'm not really that precise with my holes. If I only had a few animals in my collection, then I would be super careful with every enclosure and I would make everything line up perfectly. But when you have a ton of ton of enclosures and ton of holes, you just kind of go, meh. They won't be as aesthetically pleasing, but they will serve the same purpose. Now about that cork bark, I will cut it somewhere here and then cut it on half and then glue it here. And then I can cover it from this side with some sort of tape or something. Just so Tarantula will have some privacy <laughs> and darkness. Darkness, that's important. And watch your fingers when doing something like this. Oh man, look at this. So much mess. So I will put it like, like this. I need, I need hot glue gun. While we wait for hot glue gun to heat up, let's put some substrate in this, in this plate. <laughs> this is actually funny. The substrate is not really needed for for avicularias. They won't be spending any time on the floor, but substrate is a good way to keep the humidity because you can moist the substrate and it will keep the needed humidity inside the enclosure. That's why you put substrate even for the species that don't need the substrate. Are you hot yet? No, not really. One chance, one opportunity to glue that cork bark. Knees heavy, mom spaghetti. You can stop now. So this will be the enclosure. And what I expect from Iberapora diversipes, I expect it to make a web tunnel that will go something like around this top part. We will see what it will do. But once she actually does something with her webbing, then it will have really, really nice look. I just want to add some, some details. Rocks. <laughs> I don't know. Some of this stuff. Maybe this dry moss. Why not? Why not? Just for lols. This is supposed to be a fun enclosure. And just wacky and different. Now let's get the tarantula outside. Now this will be a true test for this barrier, the talcum powder barrier, because this is the arboreal tarantula and it climbs really, really well, much better than slings from a last video. So we will see if it works. Her webbing is so strong. You see, this is the webbing tunnel. All avicularias do that. Sorry for messing it up. And please, don't be... Oh, so beautiful. Don't be bolty. <laughs> up, 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 bolty. Ooh. Pretty colors, pretty colors. Look at that. I'm going to spoil you with this beautiful tarantulas. Either she wasn't able to climb or she just decided to stop. Let's see. So 
jumping. She can't climb. Let's do a few close-ups. It is so hard for me to hold camera stead in this position. She is a real beauty. Now to get her into the new enclosure. She got a bit of talcum powder on her feet now. She got trouble climbing even this plastic cup. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But she is real sweet, you see, no signs of aggression. Get her on this cork bark actually. Come on, go on that cork bark. Do I really need to poke you? Let's bring this closer and let's poke her. Now don't fall down. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Flawlessly. Not really. <laughs> Camera, can I get her in the focus? Thank you. There she is. I think she will like it, especially once she starts to web it. I will update you regarding the progress of this enclosure on the Instagram and then and then later in the video. I think you haven't seen anything like this. So this is the full picture. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday and Wednesday, so see you again soon. Bye!